हेलो दिस इज किरण एंड चरण एंड वेलकम टू द चैनल कैसे प्रैक्टिकल्स हाय हेलो दिस इज किरण एंड चरण एंड वेलकम टू द चैनल कैसे प्रैक्टिकल्स इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गो आई कैन विद द कैपेसिटर एंड आई वुड लाइक टू एक्सप्लेन व्हाट इज अ कैपेसिटर एंड इज चार्जिंग एंड डिस्चार्जिंग प्रिंसिपल्स कैपेसिटर व्हाट इज अ कैपेसिटर वी कैन नॉट फाइंड अ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सर्किट विदाउट दिस टाइम एलिमेंट कॉल्ड कैपेसिटर व्हाट इज कैपेसिटर बेसिकली when we go to the definition a capacitor is a passive element which contains two parallel conducting plates separated by a dielectric and which can store the voltage in the form of an electric field the main properties of a capacitor is charging and discharging and as it stores the energy in the form of electric field it is used as a memory element in the early digital computer now let us see the construction and charging and discharging principles of a capacitor a capacitor consists of a two metal plates made up of aluminum and it is separated by a dielectric the dielectric may be made up of mica glass or coal now let us see what happens when a capacitor is connected to an external dc source when we connect the key of the voltage source to the capacitor the electric current should move to the capacitor but in between the capacitor plates there is a dielectric which doesn't allow the current the positive charges from the positive terminal of the battery moves to the capacitor and gets accumulated at the one plate of the capacitor the negative charges from the negative terminal of the voltage source moves to the this plate and gets accumulated at the capacitor plate due to the positive and negative charge an electric field is developed across the capacitor hence the voltage source is stored as electrical field across the capacitor let us connect this capacitor along with a voltage source in series with a resistor as the time increases the voltage across the capacitor increases gradually until it reaches a maximum value in the process of charging the capacitor the battery tries to introduce more and more charge on the capacitor but the charge that had already introduced on the capacitor opposes the further introduction of the charge hence after a time the capac the voltage across the capacitor remains to be constant now let us see the case of discharging the capacitor in order to discharge a capacitor the voltage across the capacitor is removed and an external load is connected across the capacitor now here i have considered the load to be an led light when the voltage across the capacitor is disconnected it starts discharging exponentially with time until it reaches a minimum voltage of zero as the capacitor starts discharging the led glows until it reaches a minimum voltage to increase the capacitance of a capacitor that is capability to store more amount of charge we have two techniques that is either to increase the surface area of the capacitor or to decrease the distance between the plates of the capacitor the capacitance is directly proportional to the surface area and inversely proportional to the distance between the plates the capacitance also depends upon the type of dielectric introduced between the plates and it is given as c is equal to epsilon a by d where epsilon is dielectric constant come on now let us go to the practical demonstration of a capacitor charging and discharging here we have two capacitor each of 33 microfarads when these two capacitors were connected in a parallel we get a equivalent capacitance of 66 microfarads which can store much energy than a 33 microfarad now to study the charging and discharging properties of capacitor we use an led when we connect an led when we connect an led in parallel with dc power source as well as a capacitor the led glows until now the capacitor has been charged now let us disconnect the dc power source from the capacitor and connect an led to the capacitor let us observe what happens let us connect it led to in parallel with the capacitor and observe what happens please keep observing
as you observed the LED glows for a instant of time and the intensity of the light decreases continuously. This is due to the discharging property of the capacitor. We can even study the discharging property of a capacitor in a multimeter. Let the capacitor first be fully charged and when we connect the capacitor to the multimeter, we can observe the discharging property of the capacitor. As you see here, in a multimeter, it will be the voltage will be continuously decreasing. This is because of the discharging property of the capacitor. And finally, it, it becomes zero. That was all about charging and discharging properties of a capacitor. These are the basics of a capacitor. And in my next video, I would like to explain the response of a capacitor to different input signals and its wave shaping and triggering. Um, if you don't want to miss it, please subscribe our channel, Gas Electronics. Thanks for watching the video.